What's up guys, I'm Puneet from Programways and welcome back to the series on Python. In the previous videos, we learned about textual data and numbers. Now, we will learn to perform operations on this data using something called operators. More specifically, we will focus on arithmetic operations like addition, subtraction, etc. in this video. In programming, an operator is a symbol that is used to perform operations on values and variables. We've already used the equals operator in our previous videos. So we've been saying stuff like name equals Puneet. Here, the equals operator takes the value on the right and stores it in the variable on the left. We'll get back to more assignment operators in a second. Let's start with arithmetic operators first. We use arithmetic operators to perform arithmetic operations such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, etc. I'll copy a list of arithmetic operators here in my text editor so that it's a bit easy for us to use them. Let's try these operators one by one. I'll start with the plus operator. So I'll say something like x equals 5 and then I can say result equals x plus 10 and then I can print the result here. I'll run this code and as you can see 15 is printed. What's happening here is 10 and the value of x which is 5 are being added by the addition operator and the equals to operator is storing the result of these in the result variable. On line 12 when I print the result because its value is 5 plus 10 or 15 that's what was printed. Instead of storing the result of adding 10 and x to the result variable we can also directly print the result like this. So I can copy this and I can paste it here. I'll remove the result variable for now. And when I press run, I get the same result because the addition operator still takes the value of x and 10 and adds them up. And that's what's get printed by the print function. But personally, I think using a variable to store the result looks a bit cleaner than this. So I'll revert back to the old code. Before moving to the next section of the video, I'd like to mention that the Programmist team has created an app that allows you to learn Python from your phone. The app contains bit-sized lessons that are easy to understand, a built-in interpreter so that you can run Python on your phone, quizzes, and many more features. The app is available on both iOS and Android. The links are in the video description below. We have learned to perform the addition operator at this point. Now let's try all these operators one by one. Let me change plus to minus and run this. As you can see, minus 5 is printed because 5 minus 10 is minus 5. In Python, we use the asterisk symbol for multiplication. So I'll replace this minus by asterisk and when I press run, then 5 times 10, 50 is printed. Similarly, the forward slash is used for division. So I'll replace this asterisk by slash and when I press run, then 5 divided by 10 or 0.5 is stored in the result variable and that's what got printed here. The symbols of these four operators, addition, subtraction, multiplication and division are similar to symbols in mathematics. Let's try three more arithmetic operators. The single asterisk is used for multiplication, but if we use two asterisks without any space in between, it's an exponent operator. So I'll replace this slash with two asterisk and when I press run, I'll remove this 10 and I'll, I'll make it two. And when I press run, then as you can see, 25 is stored in the result because five raised to the power two or five times five is 25. The last two arithmetic operators are percent and two forward slashes. Using two forward slashes computes the quotient when one number is divided by another. Similarly, the percent symbol computes the remainder when one number is divided by another. Let me give you an example. So here I'll replace this result and I'll say quotient equals x double slash 2 and then I can say remainder equals x modulus 2. So the modulus, this sign when used to calculate the remainder is called modulus and then I can say quotient is quotient and remainder is remainder. When I press run, then it says quotient is 2 and remainder is 1. 
that is because when 5 is divided by 2 the quotient is 2 obviously because 2 times 2 is 4 and the remainder 1 is stored in the remainder variable. At this point we have covered everything we need to know about arithmetic operators when they are used with numbers. Before ending this section I have a pro tip for you. If you use a lot of operators in a single statement like this, it's harder to understand which operation is performed first in this statement. To avoid this, we can use parenthesis. So I can wrap these by parenthesis like this. And now it's so much easier to understand. In the last section, we use the plus operator to add two numbers. The plus operator also serves another purpose in Python. It is used to join two strings. Let me give you an example. So I'll remove this old code and I'll say str1 equals hey and I'll say str2 equals jude and then I can print the concatenation of hey and jude like this. When I press run then hey jude is printed. It's working but let me add a space between hey and jude. For that I can add a space at the end of hey and when I press run then as you can see there's a space now. We have already used the most common assignment operator equals which is used to assign the value on the right to the variable on the left. In python you can also do something like this. So I, I can say x comma y equals 5 comma 6. Here 5 is assigned to the x variable and 6 is assigned to the y variable in one statement. So this code is equivalent to x equals 5 y equals 6. Personally, I, fe I feel this later syntax of x equals 5 and y equals to 6 is better because it makes the code easier to read. There are also some compound assignment operators in Python. These compound assignment operators combine arithmetic and assignment operators in one single place. I'll show you an example. So I'll remove this old code and I can say x equals 5 and I'll say x plus equals 10 and I'll also say x minus equals 10. This x plus equals 10 is equivalent to x equals to x plus 10. This plus equals to operator is called the addition assignment operator because it first performs the addition then performs the assignment. Similarly, the x minus equal 10 is equivalent to x equals x minus 10. These compound assignment operators are available with all arithmetic operators. There are also other numerous operators in Python which we will learn about as we progress further in the video series. If you are curious, you can visit our website programbase.com for more information on Python operators along with numerous examples. The link will be in the description below. Let's put the things we have learned in this video in action. Suppose you are a university student and you need to pay $4,535 tuition fee for the next semester. The college is giving you a discount of 10% on early payment of your tuition fee. Since it's a very good offer, you decided to make an early payment. Now can you find out how much money you have to pay? I'll store the fee in a variable called fee. So I'll say fee equals 4535. Now my discount percentage will also go in a variable called discount percent and from here I can calculate the discount amount as discount percent by 100 I'll add parenthesis to for more clarity times the fee this should be discount amount and then I can say discounted underscore fee equals fee minus discount amount. Now let me print the discount amount. So I can say print fee after discount is discounted underscore fee and when I press run then I, can, I get the correct value of the fee after discount. Now it's time for you to solve a problem. Can you create a program to convert distance in kilometers to miles? Suppose you have a distance in kilometers stored in a variable like this. 
So I can say distance underscore km equals 564.5. You need to convert this distance to miles using the formula 1 kilometer equals 0 0.621371 miles. You will find the answer to this question in our GitHub repository. I will also put this link in the description below. Before we end this video, here is a recap of what we learned today. The most common assignment operator is the equals operator. It is used to assign the value in the right to the variable on the left. We use arithmetic operators to perform basic arithmetic operations such as addition, subtraction, etc. If we use the plus operator with numbers, it adds to numbers. However, if you use the plus operator with strings, it joins to strings. If you use multiple operators in an expression, we can use parenthesis to make our code readable. That's it for this video. I hope you learned something. If you're just watching the video without writing any code, I highly encourage you to try the programs in this video on your own. The only way you can be a good programmer is by trying. By the way, you can find all the programs from this video on GitHub. I posted the link in the description below. Feel free to copy the programs and edit them as you please. And if you have any questions and feedback, use the comment section below. Join me in this video series and let's explore the exciting world of programming together. If you like this video, hit the like button now and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel and ring that bell icon so that you don't miss the next video. In the next video, we will learn about Boolean's data type that represent one of two values, true or false. Then we will be able to create some interesting programs that can make decisions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Happy programming.